Staking your ADA is one of the easiest ways to earn passive income on Cardano and with Cardano entering the era of decentralized governance, you will also need to choose a DRAP to actually claim your staking rewards. So how do you pick the right stake pool and a DRAP without falling into a black hole of confusion? Let's break it down. Hi, I'm Linda, I'm the owner and operator of the Mother Stake Pool on Cardano and a lover of all things crypto. And if you want to see more content like this, please consider delegating to my Malu Pool or to me as a Cardano DRIP. I've left the links in the description down below. Cardano is a proof of stake blockchain. So instead of miners like on Bitcoin, Cardano has validators or so-called stake pools. And the more ADA is delegated to a stake pool, the higher the chance that they will mint a block. Think of it like a lottery. The more tickets or stake a pool holds, the more likely they are to win or to mint a block. And this is where you come in. By staking your ADA, you're basically handing your lottery tickets to a pool you believe in. If they win, you win. Which means that when your pool mints a block, the Cardano network rewards them. And those rewards get split between the stake pool operator and all the delegators, which is you. Now, don't worry, staking does not lock your ADA or send it away. Way. There's absolutely no risk involved. Your ADA always stays liquid in your wallet, fully in your control, and nobody can take it away from you. As of now, the staking rewards are roughly around 3%, and you can also earn some extra Cardano native tokens on top of your ADA rewards, depending on the stake pool you choose. But more about that later. The rewards are distributed every epoch, which is every five days, and they automatically get added to your wallet. Think of it as a passive income for supporting the network. So when selecting a stake pool, consider the following factors, saturation, margin and fixed fee, pledge, performance, mission pools, and ISPOs. Pools have a saturation point, which helps keeping the network decentralized by preventing a handful of pools gobbling up all the ADA. The saturation point is typically between 64 and 73 million ADA. If there's more ADA in the pool, rewards diminish. So aim for a pool below this threshold. But also remember that there is a sweet spot. The more ADA or a stake a pool holds, the more likely they are to mint a block, and you'll need those blocks to earn rewards. So to regularly mint blocks, look for a pool that has at least a couple of million ADA staked to them. I mean, you can absolutely support smaller stake pools and help them grow as well, but just keep in mind that your rewards won't be as regular as they're less likely to mint blocks every epoch. Since running a stake pool costs money, pool operators charge a fixed fee, which is currently either 170 or 340 ADA per epoch. They also charge a margin, a percentage of rewards, which is typically somewhere between 0 to 5%. Both the fixed fee and margin are taken from the total rewards generated per epoch and pay the stake pool operator to cover their time and equipment costs for running the stake pool. The remainder of rewards then get distributed to all delegators. So how do the fixed fee and margin affect your rewards? A higher fixed fee will have more of an effect on the rewards of pools with lower stake. If a pool mints two blocks and generates 600 ADA in rewards for that epoch, then a fixed fee of 340 ADA will take a bigger portion of the rewards than a pool with a fixed fee of 170 ADA. And so the fixed fee plays less of a role as the pool gets bigger and mints more blocks and therefore generates more rewards. Now, don't get it wrong. Just because a bigger pool generates more rewards doesn't mean you'll get more money. It just means the rewards are split between more delegators, so your share stays the same. A margin, on the other hand, is a percentage cut taken from the remaining pool's rewards before they're distributed to delegators. The pool size really matters here, so let's look at a comparison. A bigger pool with a low 170 ADA fixed fee but a high 5% margin may still pay more rewards than a smaller pool with a 0% margin but a high 340 ADA fixed fee. So it's all a balancing act. If you're unsure, you can always head over to Gadano Scan to check out the APY of each pool. The pledge is the amount of ADA the stake pool operator has staked in their own pool. So it's essentially their skin in the game. 
A higher pledge could indicate a stronger commitment to the pool as the pledge must be met each epoch for the pool to generate its rewards. If the pledge is not met, then no rewards will be distributed for that epoch. Pledge also plays a small part in the amount of rewards paid out each epoch. The larger the pledge, then the larger the rewards. However, at this point in time, the difference is negligible between most pools. Performance is another important factor. So check the pool's historical performance and reliability in producing blocks. Consistent performance means consistent rewards. You can check all the stats on either sexplorer.io or pooltool.io where you can get detailed analytics on pool performance and metrics. And don't forget to check out pool.pm. It's a super simple visual explorer for real-time data on pools and delegations. Some pools support charitable causes, where the stake pool operator will take a portion of their own rewards to donate for a cause they believe in. There's also something that is called an ISPO, or Initial Stake Pool Offering, which means that SPOs can partner up with new Cardano projects to support their token launch and distribution. This means that if you stake to a pool that participates in those, you can get a portion of the project's token completely for free on top of your ADA rewards. My Malo pool has hosted over over 25 ISPOs that I have either organized myself or that have been part of a new project launch. Now, unfortunately, as of now, there's no real tool to easily find current ISPOs. So the best way to stay up to date is to go on Twitter and follow specific projects you're interested in. Now, if you want to stake your ADA to a pool and support the network's health, you'll first have to get a Cardano native wallet. And if you don't know which one to get, I have made a video where I highlight some of the amazing wallets we have on Cardano and I have linked it in the description box down below. Staking from your wallet is super easy. Within the wallet, you'll just have to navigate to either the delegation or a staking tab. You can then search for your chosen stake pool either by full name or by ticker. Hit delegate and confirm the transaction. And remember, staking is non-custodial. Your ADA stays in your wallet and you can unstake at any time. With Cardano's governance model, as an ADA holder, you now have a say in where Cardano is heading and what should get funding in the ecosystem. And because participation is important, you'll either have to delegate your voting power to a delegated representative or a DREP, become a DREP yourself, or choose the auto-abstain option to be able to withdraw your staking rewards. So, how do you choose the right DREP? When you're choosing a DREP, ensure their values and proposals align with yours. Look for DREPs who actively participate in governance discussions and voting, and prefer DREPs who communicate their decisions and reasoning openly. You can find comprehensive lists of DREPs on multiple different websites like GovTools, Adastats, CardanoScan, and Ecclesia. Delegating to a DREP works very similarly to staking. You can just head to your wallet and look for the Governance tab. You can then either choose the always abstain or the always no confidence option if you don't really feel like participating. Or you can browse for a DREP of your liking and hit the delegate button. Staking ADA is a great way to earn rewards and support the Cardano network. Choose a stake pool and a DREP that align with your goals and start staking today. If you found this video helpful, please consider delegating to the Malo pool or to me as a Cardano DREP. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe and happy staking. Bye.